Okay, hello, Lily. Welcome. Thank you for joining me this evening. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I had heard that you were a fellow strawberry enthusiast. Am I allowed to curse? Yeah, of course. You can curse. Oh, yes. I do. Oh, I was going to say freak yeah, but the moment passed. So, yes, I do love strawberries. I used to love peaches. That was my favorite fruit before strawberries. But then I was like, you know what? Like... Branding wise, I, I like drawing strawberries more. They're cuter. So I'm going to just say my favorite fruit strawberry. And then I started eating strawberries and they became my favorite fruit because I ate them so much. So I kind of conditioned myself. But have you had strawberries like Korean strawberries or Japanese strawberries? Like the really, really, really high quality strawberries? Um, so I actually haven't had Korean strawberries. My my uncle actually owns a strawberry farm, but oh! he grows he grows specifically American strawberries. Ah, oh. yeah, and I I didn't know this, but apparently the reason why American strawberries like taste so tart is because they last longer. Ah, oh, of course. Yeah, I didn't know that. They usually use American strawberries for like decorating cakes because they are bigger, so like they look nicer, I guess. Dang it! Is that why? Uh... I. Apparently, but I I have had uh, strawberries in Japan. I went strawberry picking for the very first time this year. Oh, that sounds so fun. I wish they I did were that in so Japan. Fucking good. Okay, next strawberry season, Lily, you have to come. I have to. What because is it's, it's also cherry blossom season. Uh, stop, it hurts. I'm in downtown <laughs> It's two away. in one. You have to. I'm in Los Angeles. Remember when we met in VidCon, you had like strawberry earrings? <laughs> Uh-huh. Do you have other strawberry jewelry or something? I do, I do! I... Oh my god, I love... I've been seeking out, like, all the strawberry jewelry that I can. Mm -hmm. Um, there's a pair of earrings that I found. I think they're, they're like, real strawberry slices, but I think they're in, like, resin or something. Oh! And they're so pretty! But then I brought them home, and Dida said they looked like grandma earrings. No! <laughs> Oh no! So, okay, sometimes I get the same comment where I'm like, Oh, this is really pretty. I love flowery skirts and stuff. And people are like, that's like grandma fashion. No! And I'm like, man, I man. <laughs> I also saw like, uh, what are those? Like strawberry shaped bags. <laughs> yes! The Kickstarter! Yeah. Oh, oh, yes. That's the one I'm talking about. Yes. Oh my God. Dude, it's I, so I plushed cute. so fast. It's, I need one. It's so it's cute. It's so cute. I used to think like, Oh man, am I too old to be carrying around fruit-shaped bags? But then, the older I get, the less fruits I give. And I'm like, I'm gonna wear my strawberry bag loud and proud. <laughs> well, also, Lily, you look like eternally young. Thanks. Like, I feel like that aesthetic is always gonna suit you no matter how old you are. I don't care. I'm gonna be 80 and I'm gonna have my strawberry bag. Like... <laughs> Yeah, you know, okay, you know, I've always said this. You know what's really annoying about, like, re loving cute things when you're, like, a grown woman? Oh, God, I have an essay to tell you, but go on, yeah. <laughs> I hate that it's cute to like cute things when you're young. And then there's this awkward window of time where people think that you're, like, kind of weird and tacky for liking cute things. And then it's cute again when you become an old lady. Yeah. Maybe, you know, the life would be better if we just stopped judging others so harshly and let us enjoy things in this short span of life that we have, you know? Yeah! Like, maybe I want to be 45 and I still want to, like, have a, like, pom-pom put in bag and... I'm definitely going to do that when I'm 45. <laughs> like, 1,000%. Like, I used to be self-conscious about that, too, especially with my voice, because people thought I was, like, intentionally, like, oh, she's just doing cute things because she wants to appear cute. But I'm like, I just like cute things! Like, leave me the fuck <laughs> alone! We are going to be six years old with sliced strawberries, <laughs> earrings, and strawberry bags. And oh, do, have you ever bought like strawberry like clothing? <laughs> oh my god, I have a pair of strawberry pajamas. Oh my god, wait, you need to send me pictures. <laughs> oh yes, yes. Hold on, let me look at what brand it is again. I'll be, I'll be right back. Give me like ten seconds. Yeah, no problem. I'm just googling strawberry pajamas. Straw. Berries, strawberries, me and Emily love strawberries. Strawberries, strawberries, da na na na, strawberry song. Oh, this one's really cute. Cotton strawberry button down pajamas, that's really cute. I got these PJs. Oh, wow, these are nice. And they're really comfy too. See, this is what I mean. Strawberries are just so cute. 
Oh my god, wait, I forgot to mention, the other reason why you have to come back during strawberry season next year is because, so afternoon tea is really popular here, uh-huh. and they'll have like seasonal themed afternoon tea based on what fruit is in season. You have to come for the strawberry themed afternoon tea. Oh, that sounds so fun. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Yes. I will come for strawberry season. I will do it. I, I'll do it. I'm going to do it. Hi. Sorry for the sudden interruption. There's more time left in the video, I promise. But I would like to take the time to briefly talk about the sponsor for today's video, Bai. Bai is a proxy shipping site that allows you to buy items from Japanese e-commerce sites like Yahoo Japan, Amazon Japan, Rakuten, and Mercari by placing orders or bids for you on your behalf and then shipping it to your address overseas. Since moving to Japan, I've purchased a number of debatably useless items that have caught my eye while out and about, and you can too from the comfort of your own home. You could perhaps find yourself a cute pair of strawberry earrings or some cute strawberry pajamas that look really similar to the set that I own. Or if you're looking for some anime merch, they've got a ton of that as well. Like this noodle topper that I definitely did not impulse purchase off of Amazon Japan after laying eyes on it while browsing Baiyi. <clears throat> if you sign up for Baiyi using my link in the description, you'll receive a coupon for 2,000 yen off your first purchase. That's currently around $15 USD. Thank you again to Baiyi for being the sponsor for today's video. And now, back to Lily. Have you ever had one of those like strawberry... Um... It's like a fruit sandwich. You know, oh, the strawberry sando? Oh my god. <laughs> sando, yes, 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 yes. Oh my god, you got so excited. <laughs> I, okay, don't laugh. The best, uh, to this day, the best strawberry sando that I've had was at 7 Eleven. Hi, so quick update. Uh, the strawberry sandwich at my local supermarket bakery, it's so good. Even better than 7-Eleven, sometimes I like to put Nutella and extra sliced strawberries in it. The picture does not look good, I'm so sorry. 7-Eleven, still good. Uh, okay, anyways. Wow, no, wait, 7-Eleven in Japan, right? Oh yeah, yeah, in Japan. Oh my god, we can do an entire video on just 7-Eleven. Oh like, my god. 7-Eleven. I miss it every day. I miss walking outside. Oh, let me go to 7-Eleven or Lawson's or Family Mart and order a spicy family chiki hitotsu kuda I am not ashamed to say I have had 7-Eleven food for dinner many times. Would you say that like anime at all like played a part in growing your love for strawberries? Because I know they make them look so fucking good. You know, maybe a little bit. I, that's part of the reason why I say it's like so, you know, brandable. It's so cute. I think it's also because I was like, I was a huge fan of Tokyo Mew Mew when I was a kid. And mm-hmm. oh, yeah. yeah, and Mew Ichigo, you know, her whole thing is like mm-hmm. strawberry. So I think that attachment also like manifested into like a love for strawberries for like the rest of my life. Is there like a strawberry magical girl like? Purely based on strawberry. Aside from Mew Ichigo, I don't think don't so. Think. <gasps> it's time. It's time. It's time. We're making our fruit magical girl group. And we okay, we're can. Gonna we're gonna do it. How has that not been a thing yet? Like a like just fruit based. Just fruit based. You can be strawberry. I'm gonna be peach because Lily peach you. Oh my um, god. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it'd be so cute. Like I love doing stuff like that. Or everyone has like that role. I have a question. Go on. Do you? like uh hatsune miku oh yes 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 yes. have you seen her 15th anniversary statue thing coming out oh my god that's so cute you see it you see the strawberry oh, flowers so in her hair oh my god this is adorable i am desperately trying to get my hands on that you should this is so cute and like i i actually usually don't care for nendroids mm-hmm. however Look at this. Come, the hair is like <laughs> Look at this nendroid. Beautiful. There's like it's flowers so everywhere too. Pretty. Just, oh my the little Oh my god, I'm obsessed. Okay, I have another question, but it's not strawberry related, if that's okay. Oh, I I wasn't actually expecting this entire call to be strawberries. What is the best luck skin and why is it Star Guardian? Dude, oh my god, okay. <laughs> so oh god, I have I have someone I have like a thesis on this. When Star Guardian Lux came out, I was like super hyped, right? Super excited. She was the beginning, you know? She was, she the, was the blueprint. 
Yeah, she was the first Dark Guardian. Okay, now it's like the pink one's Kaisa. I wish they would revamp Star Guardian Lux. Because give her the love she deserves. She was the first Star Guardian. Are you also salty a bit about Star Guardian Ari kind of becoming the new Star Guardian poster child? <sighs> I feel like... <laughs> I feel like Lux kind of got, like, pushed to the side. I loved the new music video, but I only got to see my baby for all of, like, three seconds. Yeah. <laughs> I was sad about that. Hi again. Okay, so this conversation was recorded way before Star Guardian Lux came out as a Teamfight Tactics Little Legend. And I just have to say, she is so cute. She's stunning. She's beautiful. I love her. Thank you so much, Riot. You may disregard the previous complaints. Okay, all right, all right, goodbye. Do you have a favorite Maho Shoujo anime? And what is That's, it? It's, it, has to, it has to be Madoka. Like, I can't ah. say it, I have to. What about you? I think Carcaptor Sakura. <gasps> oh my god. I am a dreamer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sakura brings back so many memories. You remind me of Carcaptor Sakura. Didn't you cosplay her? I did! Yeah! Yeah, I remember. It was really cute. Oh, thank you! <laughs> Lily Pichu, Star Guardian Lux Closet Play when? Oh god, no, I can't. <laughs> it's too... I'm too... I'm too jaded now. And what? I, I, can't, I can't relate to the... Wow, happy! Everyone's no! gonna be okay, stay positive anymore. I know, I'm like Homura now, you know what I mean? I'm like That's the... so sad! I was so bright-eyed and cheery back then, where I didn't know the extent of misogyny in this culture and space. Where I really thought everything was going to be okay, and everyone would get along, and we'd all be friends forever. No! Well, yep, that's it. <laughs>